Summerlin 2960 bunkhouse here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Um, this floor plan's been around for a long time. In most recent years, it was the Springdale 296BH. It was moved over here into the um, Streamline Simplified Summerlin series. Springdale's, I guess you call it the little brother. Think if it's like a car with trim levels, you got the LS Summerlin, you got the LT Springdale. That's kind of the relationship. Same shell. Think of it like the same car, just a different equipment package. And it, it brought it down, it's a cool floor plan with, oh my gosh, outside storage. It's got amazing outside storage. But in the full-blown Springdale, this big thing was just starting to get uh, a bit pricey with all the good features that they put into it. And they moved it here to the Summerlin and they got this thing nailed exactly where it belongs. What was the dry weight on this one? Just a second, I just looked at it and I already lost it. 6680, so easily half ton towable. Big 30 inch wide baggage doors for easy baggage door storage. Now, stuff like that in this class. What I mean by that is sort of what I call your entry point um, starter camper class or a family class camper, however you feel like phrasing it. Um, you don't normally find stuff like those big pass through storages. You also don't normally find a standard power awning that is easy tilt with LED lighting. You don't normally find push button power four corner stabilizer jacks. You don't normally find an enclosed heated underbelly, all standard. You don't normally find extra thick dark banded aluminum here. Um, it's, it's actually, what is it, 25% thicker here and the two bands on top to help prevent heat expansion and contraction. Um, you, you don't normally find nicer features like that on a price uh, uh, conscious trailer. Uh, this trailer has UV tinted privacy windows to keep the RV cooler and obviously give you privacy. You're knocking down 80% of the solar radiation right there so that uh, it stays cooler inside. Now, remember the big front pass-through storage. Well, guess what? Double it. We got two of them. <laughs> this has two huge pass-through storage areas. So you have separate front pass-throughs for inside stuff, outside stuff, mom stuff, dad stuff, kid stuff, you know, uh, everybody. Plus, we're not done. This floor plan allows for the inclusion of a full rear storage garage back here. And what's cool is you see how the spare tire's kind of dangling down? They thought ahead because they said, well, we got to put a spare tire on this thing. What if the family has a flat? They have to have a spare tire. So they put it on a, uh, a kick down bracket. So you don't have to disassemble all this crap to get to that. Now you see that bracket right there. Guess what? You're going to put an RVQ grill on that thing and you're going to go grilling with your family. <laughs> All this is just part of a Summerland every day. These are uh, production models. They're, they're built this way each day, every day. With repetition comes quality because the same guy builds the same thing the same way every single time. And with standardization comes higher resale value because you don't have to worry about what's optional and what's not. It's just a Summerlin. And I like where they put their outside shower on this. You can hose the kids down before you send them inside to finish getting cleaned up. They've done so many smart, cool things on this. In this class, you often get a lot of double entry steps. We're getting a triple here. We're also getting a strutted door that's not going to slam open in the wind or if the kid flings it as they're walking out. Because kids have yet determined, have yet realized that things, you know, crash when you throw them. My daughter's learning that right now. I have a dent in my car door to prove it, and it matches a dent in my wife's car door because they were parked next to each other, and my daughter thought it was cool to fling the door open. But I digress. This is called the Pebble Decor, but uh, the one that we have in stock could look a little bit different from this one cosmetically, and there are often mid-year updates, so small things have changed from the one we have in stock versus this video. Don't be surprised. I always encourage people to visit us in person, and uh, if nothing else, definitely call ahead or, God forbid, visit our website or any of that. All the work that we do out there, we make our inventory online match uh, the unit in stock. So they went with a little fold-down armrest on a common fold-down sleeper sofa, but what that does is it gives you the feel and the function of sort of like a theater seat, and it's a nice place where mom and dad can sit down and just relax after a day and have a drink on hand. I don't care if it's iced tea or a Long Island variety, you know, whatever the case may be. It's just nice to have a cold drink right there. Um, 
anywhere uh, or between your um, you know slide out sleeping spaces they have a couple USB plugs those are great to keep the kids devices charged up on a rainy day or god forbid mom and dad's or anything like that there is storage below the dinette which obviously folds down into a bed and they put some serious glass in here there's some some very big picture window action happening um, in this class most things have central AC. Not everything has the LED lights of a Summerlin. And again, these are not expensive upgrades. They're just everyday things. But again, a, uh, a uh, in-floor ducted underbelly heat system, that is just non-existent at this class and at these dollars. You can get that in a travel trailer for sure, but not at this price. That's where Summerlin uh, kind of rings through as, as supreme in that regard. Um, also, better antenna. The King Jack antenna system, we've been selling this aftermarket for years. It, you don't have to crank it up and down so you don't have the chance of ripping it off with the tree branch. Gets better reception and longer range in English, more channels with greater clarity. Win! Um, normal bathroom, there's not a whole lot to talk about here. I have noticed... They've gone to these very residential-looking transition strips. It's one-piece flooring. Um, it's just one whole sheet of uh, linoleum-like material. It's not actually linoleum. But it gives you room definition you don't normally see in a trailer. It's just a neat little touch and feature I just sort of keyed into walking through this. They haven't been doing that for long. Here's an interesting thing. In the RV world, you don't normally get fully framed doors. This is three inch interior walls. They have very thick walls. Start looking around at a lot of, uh, you know, really cutthroat, aggressive price uh, pointed trailers and you start to see stuff like that go away. They refuse to sacrifice construction to make their price aggressive on this and I super highly respect that. Foot flush stool, nice big shower here, with protective wall surround paneling, even a full medicine cabinet instead of just a mirror. All these little things are a couple dollars but overall the trailer's still in a highly highly aggressive price point now double over double bunks are really the dominant bunk house system in the rv business today but offset east west bunks like this are not really common this allows for that extra pass-through storage we already talked about you've got great breeze windows in here even an extra vent above now we've got a a big time uh upper like storage shelf up here even with some extra little like a storage chest down there you'll see another one of those repeated here so every kid has their own space and we have room to hang all the kids stuff in here as well this is a very interesting twist on a private rear bunkhouse but by doing so they had extra outside storage that passes through and that rear garage storage behind that light colored wall back there because see that rear dark panel that's the actual true back of the trailer that's a false front wall because you have the outside uh, garage storage there um, by the way you can also throw a TV up against this wall if you're gonna really spoil the kids as well um, this is an app-enabled stereo, AM, FM, uh, Bluetooth-type stereo. App-enabled meaning you can get the, what's it called, J-Control app or something like that, turn your phone into a remote control for it. And even though this is a base series camper, you can still, uh, it, it's, it's prepped for satellite. That's another way, uh, that's how I should have gone about that. So that's what this little jumper is here for. That's just a standard thing in the standard Springdale wiring schematic, and they said, we don't need to strip that out, just let it be, and it's going to be fine. I really like... The entry little coat racks, the little boot bench, the nice little shoe garage right here. It's open, it's clean looking, it looks great, it's very simple and effective, and they've got very nice high definition countertop prints, perfect little fork spoons, knives drawer, place for a waste basket, everything you need. All the, you know, start listing off the stuff you need in the kitchen, check, 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 you just knock them out. And we've got bigger uh, storage ar around the backside here with access to all of the countertop for easy storage. Up front, mom and dad, you got a normal walk around bed. We got bedside stands with power outlets all the way up against the headboard for CPAP use or alarm clocks or whatever, his and hers wardrobes, and a uh, handy little hideaway laundry chute. So when you're done with your clothes, all the kids' stuff, throw it down there in a laundry basket. When you get home, open that baggage door that we're looking out of currently, grab the basket, go inside, do your laundry, and unpack the camper later at your convenience. Oh, man. I'm a Summerlin fan. The biggest reason is we just don't have structure problems. We don't have warranty problems. We just don't have Summerlin problems, you know? They don't stick around. They sell consistently. They stay in your driveway. They have amazing resale. I, I wish... <laughs> I wish I could get more of them on trade. 
but people are either happy with them and don't want to let them go, or when someone hears there's a used Springdale that they can get their hands on, it's gone. Um, interesting thing, this has one piece seamless flooring, a lot like, uh, it's the same flooring they use in Cougar and Montana fifth wheels, it's called Dynaspan. Five eighths, uh, walk on decking, one piece, and, uh, basically it's 50% stronger than plywood, and you can literally leave the stuff in a bathtub full of water, and it does not disintegrate. I don't care if you leave it in there for a month, because it's as much glue as it is wood, it just doesn't fall apart, the stuff is fantastic. So give us a call. 800-256-5196. Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. We only do everything, hitches, pieces, parts, financing, trades, trucks, package deals, and everything in between, but we do not take kids or in-laws on trade, so plan accordingly and <laughs> give us a call and we'll get you camping. Thanks, guys.